Hey YouTubians, welcome back to the channel, We Try Anything. Um, just thought I'd do this review today of the an OBD2 sensor which um, I've had need to do from my car recently. Um, and I just thought I'd give you an idea of the experience that I've had with it and how good it's been. Um, it's the, the version that I've got here is the Pumpkin BD2 OBD2 um, iFi version which works very well with iOS. Unfortunately, I don't think the Bluetooth version works as well um, as I think it's more Android. But um, as I say, this is the Wi-Fi version and, um, and here it is. Right then, let's have a look at what's inside. So, um, I'm just actually trying to do this one hand as always with it, any kind of camera setup. It's, uh, it's always hard. Um, but as you can see here, here's the actual unit itself. Oops, upside down. Um, OBD2 interface. Um, it supports all OBD2 protocols in cars, and I believe it's after a certain year that m nearly all cars have that OB2 port in them, so you can read um, what the ECU is saying, if you've got any error, co error codes, and if there's any issues with the engine, or how, or how the engine's running with kind of um, airflow, fuel flow, speed, etc. Um, it's 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 a, a good tool, and I got it very cheap, or well, what I would consider as cheap off the internet, um, for about 11 or 12 pound and just to kind of get an idea of what issues I've got with my car or the engine or what error, any error codes that it's thrown up I think it's a very inexpensive way just to get an idea um, of any kind of diagnosis of what's going on on the inside um, with the actual with the actual package I received um, I got the actual interface itself and I got all the instructions held within um, being a typical bloke, I didn't actually read the instructions, but I kind of, uh, if it was, it was fairly easy to guess. Um, you do get all the engine scanner malarkey and all the information there, how to fit it, how to install it within your car. You're just going to kind of locate the, the actual port within your car. Uh, on my Golf, it's actually down the bottom right-hand corner next to, underneath the steering wheel, so it's quite easy to find. Bit of an issue to put in, but, you know, I'll show you how you do that. Um, but it just gives you an idea of how to pair it with your Android or iPhone um, device. But as I said, I went for the Wi-Fi version as it's a lot easier to kind of see and do. Okay, right, I'll show you how to install it into your car. Right, as you can see from here, I'm going into my Golf. And the, the actual OBD2 unit is here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop it into the actual port, like such. It's a bit of a weird fit, but as long as you've got it the right way around, it should go okay. That's how it sits. Just make sure you don't damage it in any way. And what you do, you put your key in the actual ignition and fire it up. And then the next part is literally connecting to the actual unit. And then basically I'm going to turn that radio off. And uh, the next point I'll be using my, neck, my other camera just to see what you do. You need to find the actual Wi-Fi OBD2, connect to that, so it's going to say security recommended, and then you're connected. Then what you can, then what you do is you fire up either one of these, um, I tend to use this EOBD facile as I said, and then I go to connection, and what it then does is because you've connected via Wi-Fi to the actual um, unit, um, you should find it more or less straight away. Click on Volkswagen or whatever car that you've got, and then you can click on, well, you know, um, click OK. Give it a couple of minutes to find the volume, uh, the modules. Right, um, I tend to click on that because when I clicked on the other one, it just didn't want to know, so I clicked OK. And then what it's connected, and then what you then do is go to Diagnostics and then see if there's any trouble codes. Now, I know there should be a trouble code in here. Um, because I did get an engine warning light, uh, which I think has something to do with the um, turbo vanes being a bit clogged up. Um, so as you can see there, it gives you an idea of what's going on. Um, if I click on that, it just gives you some more information of the actual trouble code. You know, there is more data available, but um, yeah, it's it's worth worth the money. I mean, you can look at the status of the car, the fuel system, and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, not being mechanically minded, I mean, I'm sure there's other things that you can view. I mean, the oxygen sensor, but a lot of them you have to pay for. Um, but if, 
I'd imagine there's a lot more to it, but as I say, just for me diagnosing issues or problems, um, it's 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 totally worth the money. I mean, a lot a lot of the other areas are locked down. Um, you know, you got blue for di and red for different amounts of money you want to pay. But the actual status, you know, it gives you an idea of what's going on, driving cycle, any misfires and stuff like that. But again, you know, it just depends on whether you want to pay for the app or not. But otherwise. I've got to say, fairly comprehensive, easy to install, and you know the actual system I can't fault. So, if you if you're ever thinking about getting some kind of sensor for your car just to see what's going on, or, or you you know you have an interest of how cars work or something, then it's a very inexpensive way of finding just some something of what's going on. And it's it, to me, would I, you know I have bought it on the strength of I did a bit of research, and for me this was the kind of easiest route to go. So. Have a think, see what you think. Uh, sorry, have a think. See what you think and uh, have, a, have a look on eBay and there's plenty of them around and uh, also have a look on Amazon. So it's, you know, for 10, 15 quid plus the delivery, it's, I think it's worth it. I mean, these kind of things you probably have to pay the likes of Volkswagen 50 or 60 quid, but they will probably give you a full rundown of what's going on in the car and probably clear off any codes or anything. But for, you know, if you like to just have a dabble and, you know, just get an idea of if there is any issues with your car, then it's worth the money. Well, thanks very much for watching, and I hope um, you know. I hope it's helped you in deciding whether it's a worth a purchase or not. And I uh, look forward to any comments you may have. Many thanks. Goodbye.